Hey, what's up, everybody? It's DJ Fanatic Beats, content contributor for LiveOffBeats.com. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter at DJ Fanatic or Instagram at DJ Fanatic Beats. Uh, Fanatic is spelled P H A N A T I C. All right, uh, today's video uh, basically is I know you're going to like it. This is a good one. Um, I try to definitely give you some, some really good videos that you can learn from. And this is something where you can uh, basically you're exporting. I'm going to show you how to export MIDI files and import MIDI files as well into a project NFL studio. Um, this is good for when like you're collaborating and you want to send somebody like whatever notes you, you made within a pattern or whatever melody you came up with. It doesn't matter what, um, you know, VST you use or virtual instrument or whatever. Um, if they have the same one, it definitely will have the same sound. But if they don't have it, you can always um, just send the audio and they can build on it or whatever. So uh, let me just show you how to export MIDI files. Uh, this is really good when you're collaborating, like I said, and also, um, you know, if, you know, whoever you're collaborating with doesn't really know melodies that well. And it's also good for when you're importing, it's when you buy like, um, you know, third party, um, you know, sounds and MIDI, and this is how you can import it. And so I'll show you that in a second. But first, I'm going to show you how to export. So basically, um, this is a quick little melody I just made up uh, just now for the sake of the video. So I'll play it and let you hear what it sounds like. <laughs> it sounds great, right? Uh, just something I kind of threw together, whatever. Um, I don't even know what key it is. Just for the sake of the video. So a quick way to export your MIDI files. All of this here is MIDI data. MIDI data, uh, I forgot what MIDI stands for. It's an acronym. Music Interface Digital something. Um, just knew from way back. I actually remember that. But you can always Google it. Google it. You know, that'll give you the answer. Um, but you can, um, MIDI data is basically every action that you've taken. Um, Let's say you're playing like a MIDI keyboard or you're typing keyboard on your laptop or you, you're plugging them in. Uh, basically, MIDI data is on and off data. So this is basically I hit on, sustain, then off, I'll let go of the note. And you can also, MIDI data is also velocity as well. Uh, in this instance, I just, you know, just typed in notes. So there's all the velocity is, is the same because the last note I selected is the same. Like, let's say I took this note, lowered it, select again, notice it's low. So that's in FL Studio. Um, it memorizes the last note that you clicked as far as velocity and panning too. So it's a little, I think you can disable that, but um, it's just a little easier that way. Um, in FL Studio for me anyway. So let me show you how to export them. A uh, quick way, you don't have to highlight them. You don't have to do this. I thought I used to. Um, all you do is go to this little drop down. Uh, make sure you're in the pattern. Double click pattern and hit the drop down and go to file. Go to export as MIDI file. Left click and you can call it whatever you want. We'll call it MIDI test greatness. <laughs> and then we'll go to um, just a folder. I think I created a folder on my desktop. Uh, let's just create a folder. You can always create a new folder. And we'll just call it MIDI. Boom. And you hit that. And you click Save. And the MIDI data is in that folder. So let's say I get out of there. Let me show you how to import. Let's create a new pattern. Pattern 4. Pattern four is blank. All right. So basically, to get inside that pattern, I would have to uh, hit piano roll, or whatever. But let's create a new um, VST or whatever, and I'm gonna import it 
with the same MIDI data but with a different um, what do you call it a different um, VST virtual instrument uh, let's choose like I don't know those are short sustained short notes so let's get like a pluck or something or we can even go with like uh, hmm. there's just so many options let's get something short uh, like a pizzicato something really short <laughs> cream of emotion uh, I don't know what that is that's just too much. Uh, let's just type in pluck. And nothing came up there. That's rare, actually. Uh, let's find ethnic world. Let's see what we can find here. It's not what I'm looking for. That's short, but. All right, let's use that just for the sake of the video. Um, so let's import. So what we're gonna do is go to piano roll and we're in pattern four, the blank pattern, there's no notes. You go back to this little drop down, go to file, go to import MIDI file. Then what you wanna do is navigate to the folder you just created or whatever folder where you keep, where you have your MIDI, um, MIDI data because sometimes when you're you know buying sounds or whatever um you just got to know where your folder is your source folder where you keep the data so we just created a folder on the desktop and here's the data and it actually has a little um icon uh, i don't know if mac has this icon it probably does but it's a different icon than your standard you know audio mp3 or wave and it also has type midi sequence when you hover over it so double click on it see this is don't worry about that double click on it and you basically open it up in another pattern it's the same MIDI data we just created in the other um in the other pattern so let's just play it and see how, what it sounds like <laughs> So it's the same data and I can just go through the sounds here and this is really good when you want to like hear different sounds with that same melody something so you get the idea um, that I showed you how to export MIDI files and create a folder um, actually a step that I didn't do you can create the folder first instead of exporting um, and then creating while you're exporting so for instance um, here, I played original uh, pattern before I show you that. So that is the same pattern that we exported. And this one is just the same as well, but with a different instrument, different virtual instrument. And you can actually play them together, of course. course you can just add notes within um, the one you created so you can always it's not locked in stone you can just add different stuff So 
you get the idea. So that's a quick way of exporting uh, MIDI files. Uh, like I said earlier, instead of going here, going here, export, and then creating a folder, what you can do is just go on your window uh, explorer browser and create the folders first. Have MIDI type um, whatever name you want in there, whether it's the project name or project number or whatever. That way everything's organized and you can find whatever MIDI that you need for your project. So definitely it's great for collaboration. It's great for sending stuff out. Um, you know, and it's also good to try different sounds with different MIDI. And it can be very inspirational too, you know, um, as far as, you know, you getting on a beat and you just want inspiration or whatever. So anyway, hopefully you found that helpful. Hope it, hopefully it was a quick, uh, straightforward video for you to learn from. Um, I knew FL Studio was capable of this. I just uh, tried different methods, and this is actually the easiest method for me. So again, uh, it's DJ Fanatic Beats. You can follow me on um, Instagram at DJ Fanatic Beats or Twitter at DJ Fanatic. I'm a content contributor for Live Off Beats, and yeah, hopefully this helps your melodies, and uh, keep making great stuff. All right, peace.